ready for my next adventure. And here I am, in Bonnie, Scotland. I've been sent further north than ever before. Take the high road, and I'll take the low, and I'll be Scotland before you. Dunnock is a town and seaside resort in the Scottish Highlands. The historic town is just a stone's throw from some beautiful beaches and stunning locations. Good morning, hello again, it's me Dizzy from Drunk on Wanderlust. Now this time I've been sent up to work in the Scottish Highlands, which I'm very excited about. I've never been this far north. I'm in a beautiful town called Dernock. Um, I'm going to be exploring around here and the surrounding areas and find some awesome things that we can do and report back to you on. So let's get started. <music> My first stop was the quaint town of Durnock, where we visited the 13th century Durnock Cathedral. The church is no longer a cathedral, but retains the name due to being historically the seat of the Bishop of Caithness. Both the cathedral and the town are steeped in history. Although the cathedral has a fairly ordinary exterior, inside was uniquely beautiful, with stained glass windows projecting rainbows of light from all angles. The church even has a claim to fame, as Madonna and Guy Ritchie had their son Rocco baptised there in 2000. In a nutshell, you can see from my clips, this was a wonderful and serene place, and even for a non-religious tourist such as myself, a great place to visit. Hello again. Okay, I've woke up today and surprisingly it's a beautiful hot sunny day here in the Scottish Highlands. So I'm going to go and make the most of the good weather and check out a couple of the beaches here. You never know, I might even catch a tan. I was lucky enough to be staying within walking distance of two fantastic beaches. Both Dunnock Beach and Embo Beach are gorgeous stretches of golden sand flanked by high sand dunes. It's not surprising they both boast blue flag awards. At the point where both beaches meet, you'll find the exceptional Royal Dunnock Golf Course, often voted as one of the UK's must-play courses. Both beaches are exceptionally clean and both family and dog friendly. You can take the coastal path and walk all the way down from Durnock Sound to Embo Beach. What a fantastic day out. Right, well we've had a few really bad weather days, um, but luckily today it's nice and sunny again. So I'm going to take another day trip and go and explore Don Robin Castle. Very excited about this, um, so I'll see you there. Hi guys, welcome to Dumb Robin Castle. This is the home of the Countess of Shutterland. Follow me. Dumb Robin Castle is the most northerly of Scotland's great houses. It has 189 rooms, making it the largest castle in the Northern Highlands. The castle is the historic home of the Earls and Dukes of Sutherland, and the oldest part of the building dates back to the 13th century. The castle was used as a naval hospital during the First World War and also as a boys' boarding school between 1965 and 1972. The inside tour guides you through 20 rooms in one of the finest private residences anywhere in Scotland. Dunrobin Castle can be viewed to its best advantage point from its breathtaking gardens, which were laid out by the architect Sir Charles Barry in 1850. The castle is also home to superb falconry displays in the season. These are given by resident falconer Andy Hughes. The shows feature some non-native species like the European eagle owl, plus a host of native Scottish birds such as the golden eagle and the peregrine falcon. Oh. 
Oh, I've just had a call from work. I've got to leave tomorrow. I've got to head on down to uh, Heacham in Norfolk for my next placement. I never get enough time to do everything I want to do in a place, but hopefully I'll get to return and do some more cool stuff that I've heard about. Um, but what I will do is leave some information at the end of this video about a couple of things that I didn't get a chance to do whilst I was here in Dunark.